So when sharing your faith with family or friends, it's often very important that you be able to make a compelling case about Jesus and his claim that Jesus is God. C.S. Lewis came up with a very simple but brilliant example on how to do this, and it's called the trilemma. Let me show you the, his simple way and evaluate the claim that Jesus makes about himself, mostly about his major claim that he himself was God. There are really only two logical possibilities. Either his claim about that he is God is true, or that his claim that he is God is false. So what I would like to do is first look at the false claim. If you have friends that say, I don't really believe that Jesus is God, let's go down this road where we're gonna say that his claim is false. So if Jesus isn't God and he claims to be God, there's only two really think, two possibilities for that claim. So either he knew it, that he claimed that he was God and he wasn't God, or he claimed that he was God and he didn't know that he was God. Let's look at the first claim that he knew it. That's right. He says he's God and he knows he's not God. That means that he's the greatest scam artist the world has ever seen. For thousands of years, millions of lives, millions of people, have lived and died for a liar. Christianity is nothing but a hoax. So what if Jesus was claiming to God and he believed he was God and he just didn't know that he wasn't God? What is our possibility there? Well, if Jesus says he was God and he wasn't, but he didn't know that he wasn't God, then that would make him a lunatic. That's right. A person with a severe bout of some very severe mental illness. Let's think about it. Here's a little analogy. Your roommate thinks that they are smarter than you. Hmm, you could say they're kind of arrogant. Person you know thinks that they're the smartest person in the room. Again, arrogant, but it's borderlining that they're kind of getting out, really out there a little bit. Then this person believes that they're the smartest person on the planet. We would say, we would probably roll our eyes and say that they are delusional. As their perception becomes more grandiose, it becomes more divorced from reality. The more you're forced to conclude that this person is insane. And if Jesus really thought he was God, and that he made heaven and earth, was sent by God, but was just an ordinary Jewish carpenter, then we would say that he is a lunatic. Some people may try to put in a fourth option in this argument, that he was just a really good guy. And the reason why they do this is because it makes Jesus safe. It makes him nice. Some will say, great man, great teacher. But let's look at that. Is it possible? Could an insane person really make a good teacher? Could a liar really be a good person. So when we look at this, we have to go back to our original two. If we look at these, we can see that this really doesn't make sense. So let's go back to our first option. If Jesus is God, and he is God, and it's true, then that means he is Lord. And if he is Lord, that means that he deserves all of our obedience, all of our worship, and all of our praise. And that is the good news.